Kauf ihn. Hey, good morning, guys. Sean here. So I'm actually bringing you in on day two of our camping trip. Sarah and I came down yesterday and uh, tried to get here a little early and get an early start on our camping trip. And we had a couple mishaps and things kind of got fouled up a little bit and... Uh, we ended up forgetting her blanket and so we had to go back to town and uh pick up a blanket and stuff so i will throw you back to past sean see what we have for dinner hey thanks future sean so since now it was getting later in the day we decided that we would just stop and grab something for dinner instead of having to cook and we decided on Odd Todd's in Fort McCoy. They have tacos, burgers. They've got a huge selection of stuff. Very nice people, uh, very courteous. The prices aren't crazy. And uh, they have some outdoor seating there. I would highly recommend stopping in the Odd Todd's if you come through Fort McCoy. It was definitely a great place to stop and eat. So we are gonna finish our dinner. I've still got some setting up to do. I appreciate you throwing it back to me. Back to future Sean. So yeah, that was our uh, cheat meal. And it was delicious, let me tell you. Um, I'm doing pretty good on the diet. I am down officially 10 pounds, so we're keeping on rolling. We're not doing a cheat day or anything like that. We're just doing cheat a cheat meal, um, one cheat meal a week. So nothing crazy. Um, I know there's, you know, people who say, oh, you can't do that or whatever. It seems to be working for us. So um, everybody has to do what works for them. But uh, we had a really good, relaxing evening and uh, everything yesterday. So I decided not to record any. And... Uh, just kind of sit here and enjoy it which we rarely ever do so um we're typically filming and stuff like that instead of just sitting here enjoying the camp so but that was a good night got a little cold um not really cold it got a little chilly because i didn't put my underquilt on initially and uh about 3 30 this morning it got cold enough that I had to get up and put my underquilt under me. It was low 60s and breezy, so that was enough for me. I got my wool blanket, and uh, that was plenty to keep me warm. So Now I'm going to get up, stoke the fire, get me some coffee going, and get us some breakfast made. That made life pretty easy for a fella. Um, just had to throw a couple of those logs back in there and stir the coals up a bit and voila, had a fire. This place out here is beautiful in the morning. It's not foggy this morning, but somewhere down here, there's been a turkey gobbling all morning. Turkey season just got over, so don't have to worry about anybody hunting or anything out here. But it was pretty neat. I was hoping I could get some of it. At least the gobbling on. 
video for you, but I think he must have already walked off. Sarah's still asleep in the Jeep and I don't want to go making a bunch of noise let her sleep so me and Skip just gonna take a little walk and uh, look around a little bit it's a beautiful morning for it and strike you can see where it blew the bark off all around this tree glad I wasn't here for that It's all closed up right now. I have to come back later on today and uh, check it out. See if I can catch it when it's opened up. They're really pretty. So peaceful out here this morning. There's nobody in this area but us. All you can hear is the wind through the trees. The birds singing. It's hard to beat. This is peace. This is peace. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and head back to camp to see if Sarah's awake yet. But, uh, no sense in walking all the way back to camp without carrying some firewood. So, we'll stop and grab some firewood on the way. Be productive, always. Well, today's coffee of choice is some instant Folgers. No particular reason, except it's just what I had in my coffee bag. So, we're going with instant Folgers this morning. Coffee. Woo! It's hot. Well, Folgers ain't the best, but it'll get the job done. Good morning, and welcome to Campfire Cooking with Sean. I know that was ridiculous. That was my best Julia Childs impersonation. Most of you probably don't even know who that is. Um, this morning, for breakfast... I think we're gonna make some breakfast burritos. We got some low carb tortillas and uh, some bacon and eggs. Should be pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna do something a little bit different this morning. I'm gonna butter this pan, but I'm gonna wait to uh, put it on the fire until I've got the eggs in it. Reason being is I don't want it 
get so hot that we're kind of frying the eggs. So I'm going to take that um, butter and a paper towel and I'm going to just kind of smear it around in this pan and get the pan buttered up. And we should have a really good breakfast burrito this morning. So what we're going to do is we've got cheese for it. Like I said, we got the low carb tortillas. Instead of cooking bacon, we're going to use these little bacon bits. They're real bacon bits. It's not um, like the bacos or anything like that. And this is just really simple to use for the uh, breakfast burritos. And also, we've got some leftover salsa from Odd Todd's. So we're gonna throw that in the eggs and it should be really good. Even still, they're wanting to try to fry instead of scramble. Pick them up off the fire a little bit. There's definitely a trick to campfire cooking. We got our eggs done we got some tortillas these are four net carbs per serving so uh, we'll probably only each do one burrito and uh, that'll be breakfast basically so I know it's not the best option it is what it is so this is what we're doing um, but we got our tortillas out we still got some salsa, we got some cheese to go on these, so let's get these things put together. After looking at this though, there may be enough for two burritos a piece, babe, I don't know. So 
So we get these things piled up with some eggs. Go on, fly. Put some cheese on there. Do you want salsa on yours? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, salt and pepper. All right. So we got our little uh, salt and pepper containers. Oops. Put a little salt on here. Oh, you know what? I don't have pepper on this thing. Seasoning salt. Sarah came prepared with some pepper. <laughs> All right, wrap this bad boy up. Breakfast burrito. That's a good looking breakfast. Oh yeah. Adding the salsa to the eggs while it's cooking really helps. Alright guys, well I think we're gonna sit here and enjoy our breakfast and get this uh area cleaned up and we may go for a hike. Well, breakfast was delicious. Now I gotta get this pan cleaned up. So I've kind of washed it out and uh, boiled some water in it and kind of deglazed the bottom and everything. But if you need a pot scrubber, I have taken a palm frond and uh, cut all the leaves off of it just to let it be scratchy. And you can take this thing and get around in the bottom and it'll get up all those other little left on, baked on pieces. And... Uh, clean your pan up that's a hack just like that you got a bunch of clean dishes dishes are done time for some fun so we decided for the fun of it that we are going to do some orienteering so got the compass out and uh, we have set a bearing and uh, we're heading out doing some hiking so the goal is to hike through the brush here connect with a fire lane it'll take us out to the main road and then we'll be able to make our way back that way so just uh, trying something a little bit different today and uh, having some fun with it. Okay, so what we're doing is I have got my bearing set on the compass, the direction we need to be going. And so every so often we're stopping, relining ourselves up, make sure we're going the right direction. And we're also double checking it. So we actually have Google Maps working out here. So we're double checking it to make sure we're going in the right direction. Get rid of the shed. Right there. That's the tree we're going for right there. All right, so this burned out tree was our point. Now it's time to pick another point. Now with the weather warming up like it is, we're having to try to be really diligent and pay attention for snakes. So all of these dead limbs and stuff and logs that are on the ground are obviously hazards and uh, they can look like a snake. So we're being really careful and uh, paying a lot of, t of attention since we, especially since we've got the dogs with us. Well, here we are. <laughs> the uh, brush got a little bit too tall and the old man here, it was slapping him in the face so we're carrying him for a little while shouldn't be long though 
All right, things have gotten pretty thick. So we're having to try to pick our way through here and uh, get back on track on the other side. So Maddie says she wasn't gonna be left out. She wants to be held some too. Maddie has decided she wants to ride in the pack. All right guys, there's our fire road right there. That was fun. We made it to the point that we were shooting for. And uh, now the easy part is just following the road on out. But it was fun playing with the compass and finding what you're looking for. Like somebody's running out of gas. Home sweet home. Whew, we made it back. So that was definitely a trek. The bushwhacking was fun, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think walking through that sand was worse than that bushwhacking. So I'm glad we are back. It's time to grab a drink and sit down and relax for a little while. Well, I had a nice little nap in the hammock. Sarah's still over in her hammock napping, and uh, but I'm getting kind of hungry. We haven't had anything for lunch, so I'm gonna have some pork rinds and uh, snack on these pork rinds for a few minutes, and then I've got to go uh, gather up some more firewood and get ready to make dinner. And I think we're gonna do uh, steaks and sweet potatoes. For dinner tonight so sounds pretty good that was a really good hike earlier but even though it was only i don't know a little over two miles or something like that it was a lot of fun and uh man we're just enjoying ourselves out here we're the only ones out here so far it's peaceful and quiet We needed this. We really did. So Skipper and I walked off to get some firewood. I left the camera behind and of course I walk off and there's a mama and two baby black bears. So freaking cool. I snuck over, yelled at Sarah and she came over with her phone and got this clip. How freaking cool is that so they walked around for a few minutes down there we even got a couple pictures of mama down there rubbing her back on a tree and uh they kind of moseyed off and with this wind blowing like it is eventually she winded us down there she stood up smelled us and then they struck out so they took off and left us here not aggressive at all but uh pretty freaking cool now I got to go back to getting firewood. <laughs> that was awesome. You know, I always say that I don't get any animals on a video, but the last couple last couple weeks I've been getting some bear footage. That's pretty awesome.
So last night, Sarah and I went for a walk, and uh, it's funny because we saw bear tracks, and we saw baby bear tracks, and uh, so that turned out pretty neat that we actually got to see the mama and the babies. Well, after cutting all that firewood, I think we have decided to just cook hot dogs and sausages for dinner tonight instead of, instead of that steak. Now, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's just the uh, the difference in how we're eating or what, but I had that snack earlier today, and uh, I'm not even hungry right now. Sarah said the same thing. She said she's not hungry, so I don't know. Fingers crossed our stomach's shrinking up a little bit, and it's kind of affecting our appetite so we got a good hike in today and uh maybe we'll have kind of a lighter dinner tonight so that'll be good we have really enjoyed ourselves out here uh actually one of my buddies from florida bushcraft was over at the other campsite over there and uh he came over to see us for a few minutes so our buddy ian came over so that's cool and uh but he's the only other person we've seen today it's been quiet out here nice so the other day when we got here this whole place is covered in leaves and i knew we were going to want to build a fire so i needed a rake or a broom or something so I went around out here and gathered up some of the old dead scrub. And I made me a bushcraft broom. This thing has worked great too. Cleaned the area out, got the fire uh, area set up. It was perfect. It worked just right. Got something else I did though I want to take you and show you. So, you know I don't do a whole lot of bushcrafting on my channel. But, got my wife with me. And there are certain things that she likes to have when we're camping. One of them being a bathroom. But we don't have a bathroom out here. So I bushcrafted one. So as you can see, she's got a beautiful oak seat. Got the latrine behind it and she's got a waterproof toilet paper holder there i think it's pretty good she seems to like it and whatever makes her happy and makes her comfortable out here camping works for me because i want her to be able to come i want her to want to come when i go so that's cool well i think you guys know what time it is time for me to make me a mixed drink but got something a little different tonight check this bad boy out got my rewild outdoors tumbler mug cup tumbler tumbler rewild outdoors tumbler we're going to use this tonight tonight we're going to finish off the bottle of jack fire maybe i don't know I, this one's been bouncing around for a little while uh this has kind of been a camping whiskey for a little while so we're going to use Jack Fire tonight and Dr. Pepper. I don't know. There's actually more in this bottle than I was thinking. I might not finish it tonight. Cheers. 
Cheers. That's just right. So, listen, while I got you here. We are sneaking up on a thousand subscribers. I think now we're at 939. And uh, you guys are really killing it, helping me out, telling people about these videos, but I need you to keep it up. So keep telling people about it, keep sharing these videos, keep liking the videos, and commenting on them, and that helps YouTube push them out. It really does. Um, I know everybody always says that, but when I look at the analytics, the more videos that have likes, or the videos that have more likes, I should say, um, they really push those videos out to other people. So always, if you if you can, always hit that like button for me if you do like it. Now, I don't want you hitting it if you didn't like the video. Um, as far as that's concerned, if you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. That works just the same. So... Um, but we are going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, but I'm running into a little bit of an issue. So normally, you know, if I do a giveaway, I can reach out to people and I can get some help um, with some stuff to give away and things like that. It's running kind of dry right now. Um, everybody's having a hard time, I guess, with, you know, post-COVID and all that stuff. So things are a little bit tougher to get things like that, but don't worry, we're going to... We're gonna make it happen anyway, so um, keep an eye out for that. But we are, we are climbing. We're heading for a thousand, so I really appreciate all you guys' support. I think I know a little puppy who is worn out from the hike today. I think there's another puppy that's tired too. guys so this has been a very active trip while the camera was on time lapse we were sitting here eating our dinner and a mama bear and another cub walked across that was pretty cool so that's two mama bears and three cubs we've seen we had a turkey land over here next to us in the woods and we just had a tiny little baby red rat snake try to climb up in the uh, hammock tarp area over there we had to uh, catch it and relocate it but uh it's been a very active trip and uh that's awesome we normally don't get that kind of activity but i think now we have gotten our dinner done and uh we're all settled in for the night so i think we're gonna enjoy our mixed drinks and enjoy this fire for the rest of the night and I will see you guys in the morning. to you that's not the most restful night sleep i ever had we um had a good time and went to bed and then i guess about 2 2 30 something like that sarah woke me up because she saw some lights we hadn't seen anybody else out here other than my buddy ian hanging out for a little while earlier and um so i got up and put some wood on the fire and didn't see anybody 
and then after or we went back to bed and I guess probably I don't know 30 minutes an hour later or something like that I heard some people talking and I jumped up and put my shorts on and got in my chair and I could see some people on this side over here headlamps or something going through the woods over there and uh I could hear them talking and, and then I heard a buggy coming down the road there like a uh a side by side or something like that so I'm guessing that either the people were broke down and somebody was coming to get them or or something I don't know but it was just it was very odd and then on top of that about the same time uh I got up looking at those lights and the people and everything Sarah's air mattress went flat. So, it was definitely not the most restful night. I did get a couple of hours sleep, but it wasn't the best. So, but we have a family memorial that we have to go to this afternoon. So, we're going to go ahead and get everything wrapped up and get ready to leave. So, we got to get out of here pretty early this morning been a really good trip though we're only a few miles from the uh, bombing range over there and this morning uh, we started hearing the uh, them dropping bombs over there they're inert bombs so there's not huge explosions but you can definitely hear them hitting the ground and thudding over there. Um, I know a lot of people might not like that, but I, it's kind of cool. Funny thing is, though, we're not that far from them. Haven't seen a single plane yet, so I don't know where the planes are coming in at. guys so as you can see we got everything all picked up the uh, fires all cooled off here um, now normally I do the practice leave no trace thing but there was already a fire pit right over here in a different area in the middle of the road so I've cooled this fire off with water and actually ice water out of the core so it's good and cool now I don't worry about that but I would rather people build a fire here than over there right in the middle of the road. So I'm going to leave this for better or worse. That's what I'm doing. So um, we had a really good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. We had, you know, a good bit of animal sightings, which was fun. We did some orienteering, which is something new. And uh, it was just, we really had a good time. So if you like this video, Give us that big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Ring that notification bell so you'll get notified next time we put up a video. We'll see you next time.